Hey everybody, Jep here, and did you know that the official Valorant Twitter account had an agent takeover series not too long ago, where they focused in and showcased various things on what the agents do while they're not at the Valorant Protocol headquarters. Each agent takeover told new stories about Valorant's agents, whether it was with images, artwork, or even videos. So today, I'm going to recap every single post that was made in one video for you all to watch. It would mean a lot if you subscribed as well if you do like my videos, as this one took a long time to put together. Okay everyone, let's start off with the first agent that was showcased in these takeovers and then go in order that they were shown. And the first agent is Neon. So the first images we get of Neon is some amazing cosplay that actually looks insanely cool from Twitter user Chirichi. One thing I want to say about these takeovers is sometimes Riot makes their own images and videos while other times they team up with the community to showcase our favorite agents. But back to this cosplay. The cos the costume is great and the effects alongside of it are top notch as well. Moving on, we get some great pieces of artwork showing that Neon loves eating some yummy food. Trust me, this is a common thing with Neon. We'll see her eat some more great looking food later on in Sage's Agent Takeover. We also have an image of Neon exploring around a volcano. Well, back to Neon's irresistible craving for good food. We see her chilling out overlooking the city with some ice cream, but not before earlier in the day, chowing down on one of her favorite snacks. Quack quack. Don't know what that is. Never had it before, but I'll try a piece. But that's all we get for Neon. Next up on the agent takeover list is a fan favorite, Reyna. We first get a teaser image that I've covered in the past in a separate video. But to summarize, Reyna is trying to tell Neon that the VP is putting a quote unquote muzzle on her by having her suit limit her powers, most likely in an attempt to persuade her that humans are oppressing Radiance. I also want to say, guys, that these agent takeovers are canon to Valorant's story. So everything so far I said about Neon and then everything else later in this video is canon to Valorant's story. The vibes of Reyna's takeover very much align with the Empress Reyna theme. We get some truly amazing and highly detailed short videos of Reyna dressed in her finest dress, likely in her house or apartment. I see a piano in the background, so it might be her apartment. Then we see Reyna in a different outfit near some pillars, or maybe a church or ruins of some sort. The caption reads, quote, Look at them, they're disgustingly normal. Condemnation of a prey is his own ignorance, end quote. Next, Reyna looks like she's at a funeral to me. It could be just a random area full of flowers, but she honestly looks really sad to me. And her outfit is a solid black, which is what most people wear at funerals. It's just a thought, what do you guys think? Then something totally unexpected happened where we get a short video of Reyna playing with butterflies and surprisingly enjoying herself. It kind of blew me away to see Reyna doing something I totally totally wouldn't expect her doing like playing with butterflies for example and that's everything we got on reyna up next we have a really wholesome agent takeover which happens to be sova's first we see some great artwork of sova heading back home after being away for a long long time in fact the caption when translated into english from russian says he's been away for many years he gets reunited with his grandma again which is really nice to see who whipped him up some nice dinner rolls with a beautiful aurora borealis out the window i'm pretty sure i said that right right plus sova is looking mighty fine in that sweater if i do say so myself we also see sova enjoys being a photographer as well taking pictures of not only his man-made owl drone but a nice little birdie in the frozen forest as well <laughs> this next one is so wholesome as sova says goodbye to his grandma with the caption reading quote what a pity that i can't stay duty calls me but i can't do it any other way never could thank you for the warmth dear end quote grandma packed him a suitcase full of clothes some food Oddly enough, a jar of pickles randomly and a note. I thought it was pretty funny though, how one of the shirts in the suitcase looks like a shirt Killjoy would wear with her colors. Then Sova catches a train to the city and takes a look at a beautiful skyscraper downtown while it's snowing. And that's a wrap on Sova's takeover. Next up is the mystery man himself, Chamber. Now, Chamber's takeover is actually so, so cool. It really does show us how elegant and honestly rich he is. The first image is a picture of a piano, which honestly looks amazing with blueprints of his tour de force sniper rifle. Next is a sweet image of Chambers' living room. An elegant chessboard is featured on the table with a very, very expensive looking vase to the left, along with a display of the FAMAS, the gun in the background. Then we see an amazing video of what a real life chamber would be like. It starts off with a newspaper article talking about the kingdom. I don't know what the translation says, to be honest. If anyone knows it, please put that translation in the comments below. Again, Chamber is rich as he lives in an apartment near canal extremely close to the freaking eiffel tower we see what a day in the life of chamber is like one thing i notice is that he kind of looks lonely he gets up alone plays chess alone 
piano alone, and eats an elegant dinner alone by himself. I can't imagine he kind of prefers to live this way though. Later, he gets suited up in his finest attire when an alarm sounds. He summons his headhunter pistol and fires into the camera. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong guys, but it looks like someone just broke into his apartment. After that, we get a quick video that I think has more meaning the more you look at it. Chambers playing a game of chess, but all of the pieces are Valorant Protocol agents, with a few pieces being the spike my interpretation of this is that chamber is playing a game with the agents and is more so using them as pawns for his overall goals and desires what do you guys think about that up next is breach unfortunately for all you breach fans he didn't get much of a takeover we see an image of breach's garage with blueprints up on the wall and we can tell that race has been there with the graffiti of her name on the wall race and breach are really good friends then we see breach sit down by himself at his garage on a cold night eating some homemade dinner. If we zoom in on the dartboard, it looks like to me that he put up a picture of a kingdom building as a target, which I thought was pretty funny. There's a car suspended in the air with the jacks. I can imagine this is a really cold place because if we look up at the top right, we can see that a few windows are either open or broken and it looks freezing outside. It also looks like it's a pretty dirty place to be honest with spider webs all around it. I wonder if he's comfortable living like this or not. Up next is my boy Sight first takeover and just like breach we actually don't get too much with cypher as well the strategic game of chess is a common theme with valorant as cypher starts off with a honestly really sick looking chess board all lit up with valorant's logo on it we see a badass picture of cypher overlooking this chess board with the caption translated to quote the Shah is dead, end quote. A Shah is what a king or emperor would be called in what used to be Persia, which is now modern day Iran. Pretty cool to see. Next, it looks like that one of these chess boards is being shipped from Cypher to someone else in the VP. The caption translates to, quote, Unfortunately, Phoenix wouldn't appreciate a gift like this, but my sources let me know the name of someone who I'm sure will like. Can you guess who he is? End quote. So I'm gonna take a guess. I'm guessing either Sova or Chamber. Sova because of the one voice line between him and Phoenix talking about chess and Chamber because of what we saw earlier in this video already. That's all we got for Cypher, literally, that's all we got. The next Twitter agent takeover is Sky. Firstly, we see Sky chilling out with her hawk and wolf summons, enjoying a nice cup of Vietnamese iced coffee. Then she explores the Vietnam landscape, admiring the scenery. Then we have a sweet video showcasing Sky and all her powers. So starting off, I'm confused because her dog or wolf summon, whatever it is, is running alongside a tiger. Does that mean I've been calling her summon a dog this whole time when in all reality it's supposed to be a tiger? Like, is, is it supposed to be a tiger? Well, moving on in the video, we get some flashes of Sky being in so many different cities from literally all over the world. Her hawk summons burst into fireworks with an image of a bunch of cities all morphed together into one. I'm guessing Sky loves to travel and it's been to so many places. Then we get a little montage of Sky walking around with families passing and a sick gaming PC setup where Sky just won a match of Valorant. More cities pass by and the video ends, closing out Sky's agent takeover. Up next is everyone's favorite tech nerd Killjoy. Killjoy is visiting Berlin, Germany, and we get to see all the fun things she's done on this vacation. First, she stops by at a cafe getting some fresh coffee and a really delicious looking pretzel with butter. Then Killjoy hops onto a subway saying she's so excited to meet Raze later on as Raze is going to teach her how to incline skate. Once they meet up, Raze gets a quick picture of Killjoy once she's getting the hang of it. I don't know why, but if you zoom in on her face right here, it looks like she's absolutely terrified to me. <laughs> After skating around, they sit down to a fun dinner of kebab. Never heard of that, but I don't question food much and I'll likely down the entire thing. Looks pretty good to me. Then after dinner, Killjoy says that whenever she's looking for inspiration, she'll visit the, pardon my pronunciation, the Tsufelsberg at sunset. Look how happy she looks dancing with her turret. And that's it for Killjoy. Now it's everyone's favorite cocky Brit Phoenix's turn. Every one of Phoenix's showcases are little videos, so let's get right into them. In the first one, we check out his apartment, which happens to be a renovated fire department station. Am I the only one that thinks it's honestly hilarious? Phoenix needs an oven mitt? Like he literally catches himself on fire. Why does he need an oven mitt? <laughs> Phoenix has a nice setup where I'm sure he records music at. Yo, Phoenix, when are we going to get your next album, man? I'm sure it's going to be fire. 
Okay, moving on before I keep on embarrassing myself. We can see the fire pole in the center of the room, proving that this used to be a old fire station. And no, that is not a stripper pole. Also, I love how Phoenix has a painting on his wall with a crown on his head. Ending off this video, we see Phoenix has a massive TV. Nice. Then he's got another TV in the second video in the showcase, which shows off his room more. Clearly, this is his gaming area as he's got an off-brand Nintendo Switch on his bed and what looks like to be the brand new Xbox Series XL Double D Model 69 on his TV stand. You gotta remember, guys, they're like 20 years in the future of us. Also, Phoenix loves to collect shoes. He can skate and he's got a ton of the same jackets he always wears. Also, above his shoes, we see a sign that says, Welcome to Peckham? which is a district of South London. So now we know almost exactly where Phoenix lives. Pretty cool. The final video on Phoenix's takeover is a closer look at his recording setup. I want to point out a few things here. One, look at the picture of him and a girl up on the wall. Clearly, this is an older picture as he looks fairly young in it, but I wonder who this girl is. Is it his girlfriend, longtime childhood best friend? What do you guys think? Also, I love how he has his wanted picture up on the wall from the Venice incident of 2049. You can see at the beginning of the duality cinematic with the news report, looks like Phoenix used to play football too or soccer for us Americans. Now, something really interesting and honestly cute is on his wall as well. In the top, there's a postcard there. Now, if we zoom in really close to this postcard, it almost looks like the words written on it are, quote, wish you were here. It also looks like that it was signed by Jet. Bro, what? Like, I swear Jet and Phoenix like each other or something. Like, I've said this multiple times now. Again, it is also really hard to make out what was written on it. Maybe I'm reading too far into it because I want that story to happen, but come on, how cute would that be? All right, everyone, that's all I have to say about Phoenix. The next agent takeover is Sage. Now, Sage is honestly really awesome to see because it showcases her breaking out of her comfort and trying out new things and styles with her good friends on the protocol jet and neon first though there's a picture of sage packing her suitcase for the girls trip she's got a couple outfits picked out and bringing along a camera also sage's room is just full of plants which really adds to the vibe of her room also look how happy and excited sage looks in the mirror they get to their vacation when neon and jet try to get sage to try on some more honestly i'm just gonna say it y'all are thinking it anyways badass clothing than what she typically wears neon is recording sage as she steps out of the fitting room and it looks like sage just feeling really confident now, which is cool to see. Then they head out for the night and get some dinner. Neon takes a selfie with Jet and Sage in the background. The funny thing about this picture is my god, like how much food are they eating? Like I'm counting at least 30 dirty plates and bowls and they're still thinking about ordering more food like me and my three brothers couldn't even eat that much i'm guessing radiance metabolisms are like much faster than humans as they probably have to burn more energy for their powers then the three friends head out for a day at the beach but jet looks grumpy as it looks like she's got a major sunburn don't worry jet i burn super easy too at the beach i need like 16 layers of sunscreen too of course sage comes to the rescue healing jet's skin from the pain of the burn while neon is building building the most impressive sandcastle I have ever seen in my life with some kids in the background. Then they all FaceTime Brim, Omen, and Killjoy back in the Valorant headquarters. They're showing them all the cool things they bought and probably talking about how much fun they're having. Jet's tan lines from her sunglasses are hilarious. Also, something really funny is why does Omen have a cup of coffee or hot chocolate? Like, is he even able to eat? Also, it looks like Omen has been taking care of Neon's stuffed plush Squish Squish while she's been gone. It ends off with an image of Sage saying she's thankful that Omen took care and watered the plants in Sage's room while they were gone and hoping he remembered to water Neon's plants as well in her room. Also, she says she's excited to get back to work in the field when she gets back from her vacation. Up next is Yoru's takeover. Now, Yoru's is actually so cool. We only get two images of him in his rift dimension and one of him chilling on his insane motorcycle themed in his colors, with both of them being titled My Typical Day. But the coolest thing with Yoru's is this music video that's part of his takeover. It's two minutes long and likely copyrighted, so I can't play any of the audio or show the whole thing because it'll take too long. So I encourage you to find it and watch it yourself because it's really cool. But to summarize the video, it starts off with some quick flashes of his knife collection. Then it shows him riding his awesome motorcycle through the city, likely Tokyo. Then it shows a massive fight breaking out in what looks to be like a park or something with Yoru looking out over them. Then Yoru just goes full beast mode putting on his mask and absolutely smacking these fools around 
thinking they can stop him. Like he literally catches a bamboo stick being swung at him and then proceeds to beat the dude who just tried hitting him. Some nearby people are amazed and call him a savior, but Yoru brushes it off saying he's no savior. After dealing with all that, he gets some dinner to fill up his tummy. He says a little prayer before eating and says it's time to dig in. Just goes to show how cool Yoru is. Up next is probably the coolest agent takeover in my opinion, and that one is going to be Vipers. This one video from Viper's takedown titled Snakebite, a Viper's tail is just amazing. It starts off with a poor little mousey about to get got from a literal Viper stalking it in the trees. We head to Viper who is wide awake alone in her bed even before her alarm goes off. I want to quickly say that do you guys think this is a hint on Viper's sanity or what's going on through her head? Like it doesn't look like she sleeps very much which could not be good for her mentality. She gets up and goes for a morning run overlooking the awakening city. She makes a cup of hot coffee before heading into her lab experimenting with new toxins. Then she gets dressed into her suit and enters probably the coolest room so far I've seen in literally all of Valorant. With weapons and gadgets displayed all over the wall ready to go. Something really cool I want to point out right here is uh, as she's about to reach for her mask, underneath it you can see her shorty skin that you unlock by completing her contract. Thought that was a pretty cool little detail. Also you can see her poison orbs on the left and her snake bite gadgets on the right. She then dons her iconic mask and her eyes glow a bright green as she opens them. Not sure if I can play the intense and amazing music that goes along with this video for copyright reasons, but I encourage you to watch it for yourself because it just adds to the atmosphere so much. After that though, Valorant's Twitter just posted some quick images of the Phantom and Vandal on Viper's wall and some images of her alarm clock in the morning. We're starting to get near the end guys. Next up is going to be Jet's Agent Takeover. Now this one is kind of like yours too where we get an insane music video showing off stuff Jet does on a day-to-day -day basis. Again, I can't play any of the music, but I'll sum up the video. It starts off with Jet doing Jet things and falling down to Earth with a windsuit on. The city she's falling down to is Seoul, the capital of South Korea. Once Jet lands, I saw an arcane billboard in the background on the right and a Valorant billboard on the left. Pretty cool. She changes outfits and is jamming out to some music on the top of the building. Then she gets ready for a fun run throughout the city while slapping these stickers on signs and buildings as she goes. Pretty funny on the left, we see an ice cream store that says Baskin Bobbins. I'm pretty sure that looks an awful lot like Baskin Robbins. We see her run more throughout the city, watching herself on the billboard. Now, if we pause right here, we can see this image I'm sure a ton of you guys have seen already. A ton of speculation has been going around about this. It's most likely tied to the Undercity bundle for the skins in Valorant Shop, but I've heard rumors, now these are rumors, that this is Agent 20, but so far, it's just a speculation. What do you guys think about that? Jet then takes out all her knives and goes to work on these dummies standing there. She then takes a hilarious selfie showing off her skills with her knives. More running throughout the city with more images, of the mysterious person in the background. She then ends off her run and the video while graffitiing honestly a really cool mural of her name and a bunch of things about her on the side of a building. And that's Jet's takeover. Let's get to the next agent and one of the best in my opinions, Raze. Now Raze has another video of her jamming out to music while traveling around in her city. It starts off with a nice breakfast with coffee overlooking the ocean. Real quick, a cool little piece of info. As Raze is walking down her stairs, there's some newspapers regarding the kingdom on the floor. I believe these might be like the same newspapers with the kingdom under fire after the Venice incident. I could be wrong because I honestly don't know how to translate it, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Also her boom bot is down there too. Cute. As Ray steps outside and is walking down the colorful stairs on the side of the building, we can see a kingdom plaque crossed out showing the distrust and hatred a lot of the common public has for the kingdom. She turns on her headphones and starts running around and dancing throughout the city. Look guys, it's Paul, employee of the year at the Icebox facility. If you know, you know. She dances some more moving around the city. She starts drumming with the band too and then starts dancing some more on a boardwalk by the ocean. Look guys, Rudy Shack from Breeze is chilling there. Also in the top left, we can see a Visit Breeze billboard with the same images of the cover of the magazines we can find on some of the other maps. She then gets the awesome idea to use her blast packs to get up on this super tall building, but like, Dang, isn't that like insanely dangerous? Like that building is really high up there on that hill. 
she's not a radiant and has no way to break or fall if she misses it or if one of her blast packs like fails to detonate like she very well could have died right there <laughs> well race gets up there to the top of the building and we can clearly see a kingdom logo crossed out with i'm guessing one of Ray's paint spray bottles the video ends with her looking out to the beautiful water and that's the end of the takeover guys which one was your favorite mine was either sages or vipers takeover let me know what yours was in the comments below 